Hi everybody, it's Andrea here and I'm here with a controversial review of Jack Kurak's On The Road. Controversial? Yes. Why? Well, on the back of this book, Bob Dylan says, it changed my life like it changed everyone else's. Can you see? It didn't change my life. Now, I enjoyed the book. I enjoyed the writing style. I enjoyed the way he described things. I thought that was very beautiful. But the story, what there was of it, because it's not much of a plot. A load of blokes just travelling around America. Great. There just wasn't anything to it. And I think it might be several reasons why I didn't get on with the story. And the first thing I'm going to say is I think it's a generation thing. This book came out in 1957 um, when you know, the 60s were fast approaching. It was the beatnik generation. It was all about free love and all that. That was all coming to, to start. The, the 50s were stayed, the 60s were wild, and this was the start of it. And I think that's what people reacted to back in 1957. However, looking at it from a 21st century perspective, it's very dated. All the women are whores if they sleep with more than one man. One man. Yet the main, one of the main characters, Dean Moriarty, can go around shagging anything in sight, have kids with three or four different women, ma marry somebody, go off and sleep with somebody else, divorce that woman, marry that one, then go and sleep with somebody. And th there's, there's no question. He's a hero for doing that. So obviously there's a generation thing and obviously that double, double standard. So it's a generation and a gender thing on that one. But there's also the way they refer to, to gays. I, I don't particularly like that. I mean, I know it's all the time referring to them as fags. And again, this is also a cultural problem for me. Being in the UK, to me, a fag is, it's a cigarette. That's what we call them. They call them a fag. Go for a fag. Go and have a cigarette. I know that fag is short for faggot. In the UK, faggot is a meat product that you eat with mash and peas and gravy. So it's very odd. But that's a cultural and a gender uh, thing. Uh, sorry, a cultural and a generation thing. The thing about it being mis misogynistic is obviously a gender thing and a generation thing. Now, there's also, like I said, the culture thing. Driving from Cardiff to Bognor is not as exciting as driving from Chicago to Frisco. Let's, let's face it, it's not. And so there's not that whole romance aspect of, oh, the open road, you know, oh, the sea, the open road, the sun, the convertibles. It, it's just not that. We don't have that here. So I think that is... Um, you know, a cultural thing, I mean, being in the UK. I can say it's, it does make me want to travel more and it does make me want to drive America because I would love to drive America, but I wouldn't like to be what they were. Two men just driving around, taking no responsibility for what they did, being completely at layabouts, getting wasted. I mean, people get wasted today, but you know, getting wasted, driving around, shagging anything that moves, and, and just not making it a, a normal, what, what, okay, what we call a normal life. Okay, so maybe normal is not a brilliant thing. It's not. But, you know, taking responsibility for their actions, I think, is the problem. Not so much having a normal life. They don't. If, if I met Dean Moriarty, I would want to knee him in the nuts. Because, oh, he is so irritating. He is so immature. It's like having a two-year-old drive. He drives stupidly fast. He wrecks cars that aren't his. He steals. I hate him with a passion. And Sal, although a more likeable and more responsible character, is like a sheep. Just follows him around. Dean can do no wrong. I mean, it's like, Sal, get life. Become you. Find yourself. Don't follow Dean around. He's a tosser. So that's what I think. I mean, I, I have given it... I wanted to give it two and a half stars out of five. I can't, so I've just given it two. Like I said, Jack Carrex writing, on his own, is really nice would be better if there was an actual story involved though. So for me, yeah, it, it took me nearly a month to read this because I started it for Bookubathon. Nearly a month to read that book, which is not even 300 pages long. A Clash of Kings, which is more contemporary. I know it's fantasy and it, you know, took me two weeks, 900 pages because that I could not connect to any of the characters. So it's just my opinion. I know you guys, you might have other opinions. Please, please, please tell me why you think this is a great book. If you do, I'll give it another go. I'll read it again. I'm willing to do that. If you could give me some good reasons as to why this is, is classed as an American modern classic, please let me know because I can't see it. 
Well, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear from you. So give me a thumbs up if you want to, subscribe if you like, um, and leave comments below. Tell me why this is a good book. Tell me what you think about it. I would like to know because let's be honest, it's just my opinion and I'm just one person. So anyway, I'm off to do some more reading. And so I suggest you do the same. Happy reading, guys. Bye.